Lockheed Martin has a long-standing relationship with U.S. allied partners in the Indo-Pacific region to maintain that security that's required there. One of the biggest challenges in the Indo-PACOM region is dealing with adversaries who have significantly more advanced capabilities to deny or degrade our operational capabilities when compared to some of the other more traditional areas that we've been operating in the past. Northern Edge is a military joint training exercise that takes place primarily in Alaska. Lockheed Martin participates in these exercises because it gives us unique insight into our customers' challenges and the ability to react real time with new technologies to further those capabilities. With these exercises, there's been a heavy focus on being able to bring experimentation, and it's not just experimenting of advances in technology, but also experimenting with warfighting concepts of how do we truly fight as a joint force. By breaking apart these systems, by utilizing sensors and intelligence from multiple domains and, and multiple systems, you can, you can get a complete picture of the battlefield. I see that as where warfighters of the future can really benefit. The most impactful enablers are communications, data exchanges, and getting the right data to the right user at the right time. And they're actually a lot closer than you think. Lockheed Martin demonstrated the ability to utilize high bandwidth information from space-based intelligence, fifth generation U.S. Air Force aircraft, along with Army, Navy, and Marine Corps command and control systems for land-based Army and Marine Corps missile systems. We're working on really building that foundational software architecture that's required to provide that joint all-domain concept. It's been great to kind of see these exercises evolve over time working with the warfighter. Part of that great benefit we get by having that proximity and that access to that real-time feedback is to be able to support one exercise, see what works, what we might be able to improve on, be able to see how they could potentially get more value out of what we bring to this exercise and be able to take that feedback back here, make sure we have the right investments to be able to improve and grow those technologies that ultimately bring value to the warfighter. 